Hello Cancerians and thanks for joining me for the December of 2019 uh, Psychic Tarot reading uh, with Animal Totem Cards. Boy, this is a hugely powerful uh, month for, for everybody and I've, you guys are going to be affected by it quite a bit too because it's all in your opposite sign of Capricorn. We're going to get into talking more about that in a minute. First of all, let me introduce myself. If you've never been to my channel, I'm Vicki Hurley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I'm a psychic reader who is psychic clairvoyant, and I do tarot and astrology. We're going to do this reading. We're going to do with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which is my own design. And we're going to follow it up with a bonus card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, also my own design. If you are a Patreon Level 2 subscriber, there will be an additional bonus card from the Earth Magics. In, com in commemoration of all the earth energy that is going on this month. Okay, well, let's start out with our spread. Uh, I do shuffle the cards thoroughly in between um, videos. I don't see the point of continuously shuffling on camera. And then I put them in here and we do this the real loose shuffle to pull out the uh, cards that are meant for us. Just need two more cards for our cancer friends. Everything is moving into, I want this one, everything is moving into um, Capricorn. Jupiter's moving into Capricorn on the uh, second of the month. Then we're going to have the solstice, which is always a time of change. It's a change of seasons, and that's going to be on the um, 20th or 21st, depending on your location. Then we're going to have an eclipse in Capricorn on the 26th on my birthday, so it's like whew, major shifting, major changing, change of seasons, change of energy altogether. Now, even though Capricorn is your opposite sign in the zodiac, there is a good compatibility going on. You two do complement each other. It's water. You're the water. Feeds the earth. Um, it's the, your natural partner, it rules your house, if you're Cancer Rising in particular, it rules your house of partnership. So there is a good a flow of energy exchange, and I feel like, for the most of you, the changes that occur should be very positive. Um, but let's take a look here. Uh, we've got that there's some issues about money. There's either dividing up of money, or you're like, well, I, should I pay this or I pay that? pay this or pay that. You're trying to figure out which one is more important. There's a Queen of Swords here who could be any gender, by the way. There's no gender assigned to any of the people in these readings. So, But it's an air sign energy. Air signs include Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That could be that person's sun rising or moon. Also, though, we are going to have a full moon on the 12th in the sign of Gemini. It might be talking about instances occurring around that time frame. There's some talking and communicating, because all the young dudes carry the news, where are the pages. There's communication, it, talking back and forth. Um, I was going to say doing readings, but I was trying to say, maybe you are going to be doing readings, I don't know. But I was trying to say like reading and writing, writing letters, writing emails, texts, and things like that. And she's got some solutions for you. She's very solution-oriented. Um, and it might not be the solution that you want to hear, but that does not mean it's a bad thing. You are going through some major transformation. And you have the wish card in reverse because it's telling you if you're trying to hold on to some old thing, it's just not meant to have. It's not meant. You're beating a dead horse, basically. Okay? You don't want to beat a dead horse. Devil in reverse is freedom from bondage. And her with her sword, it feels like she's cutting those. Because it's not that clear on this deck. But there are chains. The chains of bondage uh, uh, that the devil has you in. And it feels like she cuts along and cuts those chains. And you're free. And the death card is here too. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's dying. Often it won't mean that. But it means, again, it's time to let it all go. Release whatever you're trying. Whatever dead horse you're beating here, let it go. Because star, a beautiful card. Star is a beautiful, beautiful card. It's spirits and angels have something better in store for you. Something higher that you can't see from this perspective. You definitely can't see if you're trying, trying, and trying, and beating, beating, beating your head against the wall. If you look in this the other direction, you know, stars there offering you beautiful, 
blessings and beautiful, um, you know, the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in love, a new beginning in creativity, a new beginning in joy and happiness. So you've got to release the old in order to have this new thing. There's also a fire sign person who's going to be, dynamics stood out to me, but it says dynamo. Allow that to happen. If it says, I says dynamo, but I saw dynamic, let that happen. Let that happen. And there's another thing. Every time you watch one of these readings, you can watch it again. And this time you might see dynamic. This time you might see passion. Every time you look at these readings and these cards, let that happen. That's how you can get a personal message out of a very general reading here. But anyways, uh, he's going to be favorable to you, too. He's got that fiery energy. So he might be a Leo, Aries, or Sag, but also... We're going to be in the sign of Sagittarius for the first few weeks here until the 21st. So it could be right around that, you know, before we move into Capricorn uh, with the sun. And secondly, when that new moon occur, full moon occurs on the 12th in Gemini, we will still be in Sagittarius. So two different things are indicating earlier in the month for some of this activity. Um, and the number here is 13, so 12 and 13 are real close. And there's something else I was going to tell you. Darn it. Oof. Oh, yeah, for some people, especially with the holiday season, this might be the first, somebody may have actually died. And this might be the first year that they're not there. But if that is the case, the star showing here says that they are with you in spirit and they are watching over you. And, and for some people, too, I wanted to say that somebody had, may have had a very long illness long suffering and they were very they were very ready to let go of their body they were very ready they were like get psh, i can't you know they were in pain they were suffering and now they're free so um keep that in mind and i, I was telling everybody too i was going to save it for the end but since it came up in the reading you know keep in mind that the holiday season is not always you know so joyous for everybody if you have experienced the loss of your family, or either, even if your family hasn't died, if you're estranged from your family, or even just you can't be together for whatever reason, you know, I'm, let's everybody send out a little light to these people and a little special prayer, but also reach out to the people who uh, this is their situation, you know, and, and um, you know, that's my two cents on the whole matter. We're going to do the, <laughs> we're going to move on to your animal tongue, but real quick I want to... Remind everybody, the year ahead readings will be available only till the end of December. I offer these periodic different readings, specialized. This is the most popular by far. Um, it's a cool reading. I look at first I look at the astrology and I tune into your specific things with the astrology for the upcoming year. Then I lay out a spread similar to what you're used to seeing here, but there's four sections each one representing one-fourth of the year, and I do the psychic reading on that. Then I do pull an animal totem. So that will be available only till the end of December. If you'd like to find out how to get that or any of the other stuff I offer, you can check my website. Well, let's get our animal totem for our Cancer friends for the month of December for Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Cancerian moon children. My moonies. Moonies. One card, please. Oh, the goldfish. That's really lucky. That's really lucky. Okay, luck, serenity, prosperity, wealth, fluid imagination, losing track of time, Cel celestial connections, altered states, omens of auspicious developments. I feel, again, it's a good luck symbol, and if you want to find out more about it in the Asian, um, like astrology and stuff, I think, or... It's, it's very much a thing with the, the koi fish. It's an Asian thing. And there's a lot more information you can look up. But for somebody, this is a special message for somebody. Whoever they bought you a goldfish when you were little, or maybe for Christmas or something, or Hanukkah or whatever, that's confirmation for somebody on that, that they're, they're, they're around and they're coming through. That's a special message directly for somebody. If you want, I don't usually get a lot of that kind of stuff, but I mean, if you want more personal message, you're going to have to get a personal reading, as always. All right, I want to thank everybody for everything you do. Don't forget about those people who might be alone on the holiday season. Um, if you have had a long-standing rift with somebody, this is the time to let bygones be bygones, maybe make amends. Um, if you'd like to find out more about stuff I have to offer, which all makes good holiday gifts, I've got coloring books, t-shirts, decks, books all sorts of stuff. You can check out my website through the eye in the sky or in the, the show more box below. 
Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like my stuff, and you can find it next time. If you are Patreon level 2, there's going to be one more card pulled out of this Earth Magic card, so you can find out about that. The way I do the Patreon and the bonus card readings, instead of charging for every video, I just charge one price on Patreon, and then you can watch all 12 of the bonus cards. You can watch your sun, rising, moon, your whoever, other people's stuff, whatever you want. You have access to 12 videos for one price, so that's the way I do it. I want to wish everybody the best holiday season, the best uh, eclipse, the best solstice, the best everything. There's no better time to make a new start than these solstice times. It's a change of season, it's a shift in energy, and spirit guides and angels are really leading you toward that, so definitely go for it. Thank you all. Have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.